Hello, my name is Darren Sprouls and today I am doing a, a little bit of a special challenge video that is my whole experience on a void world with nothing but a bonus chest and uh, yeah this bonus chest has been modified it contains a grass block, four torches and a dirt block but the question is can I be Minecraft with just this? <laughs> Okay, there is four signs, and this bonus chest will be your key to surviving. Use the grass block wisely, you only have the one. And the wandering trader sells lava and end portal frames, and drowns can also drop gold ingots now. Whew, what a mouthful. And this is what I've actually started off with. Birch. <laughs> oh, but at least I got three jungle logs and some cocoa beans. But yes, this is my little experience, and I've put this all together as best I could. It was 28 hours and a half worth of footage. I've cut it down as best as I could. But anyway, let's get things started off here with a crafting table. Um, yeah, I'm looking and oh yeah, by the way, there is a day counter as well, obviously. Um, that has been made by a good member of the community. I think his name's Andro Marjumus. I, I completely messed that up probably. There'll be a link for it in the description of the video. That is the only other add-on. Um, also, I didn't write there, but witches can actually um, drop cauldrons as well. Now, it's very, very, very rare, as you will see as I progress. Also, I have spawned in with, obviously, um, you know, my, my bonus chest contains potatoes and melon seeds. So, eventually, I can hopefully reproduce these. And I got a couple of brown mushrooms as well. But yeah, the start of these kind of challenges, it's... Um, a bit of a grind, let's put it that way. You you kind of have to wait around for things to grow or the day and night cycle to change. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would just put my um, jungle logs on top of my chest because I don't really want to waste any blocks, if you know what I mean, so I can actually place that there. Anyway, the birch tree has finally grown and this will be the start of making my platform exciting. And here we go. So I decided to put a torch near the um, a birch sapling just to help it grow if it becomes nighttime and stuff. And I decide as I've got the you know available resources, I can actually um, make this a bit better. The the jungle logs. And I was just pointing out there you can actually jump on cocoa beans. Never knew that. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things I learned during this, and it's really good fun. But as you can see, this is uh, ten thousand times speed, and it finally grows. <laughs> A oh, bit of a time lapse there. I quite like that. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's very very lengthy at the start. But anyway, I decided to um, block out all the way to 24 blocks in distance, and I wanted to put my grass block at the very end of it. Now this was a test. Again, this is my first ever time trying this. I never tried this ever again. You know, this was this is the first time I've ever tried this, so I don't know. <laughs> if passive mobs will spawn on this so this was my test if that makes sense um i wanted to go at this completely blind and that's kind of what i wanted to do to to witness it and you know have that cool first time playthrough if you know what i mean but yeah i decided to kind of do this around it just in case pigs spawn or chickens because they spawn in like you know two to fours and things like that maybe one or two of them will get pushed off the edge so i wanted to make sure there was enough you know protection around so nothing fell off basically but yeah the cocoa beans still not grown <laughs> it's, it's quite crazy i swear cocoa beans you know they beans um cocoa beans they they take a longer time than a saplings it's quite strange i swear they didn't but anyway i gotta punch the leaves unfortunately as tedious as it can be but i want to make sure i get as many birch saplings as i can because obviously i can compost these down in the future and I'm trying to conserve sticks and things like that. It's very tedious at the start, as you um, are probably full on are aware of. But yeah, we are literally waiting around for things to happen here. And this is my magical spot. And we're going to hit time lapse mode again. <laughs> as you can see, another 10,000. And there we go. It's grown again. So it's literally all I've been doing for the first couple of days is that. But anyway, look what's happened here at night time. Because I didn't put a torch there, a spider spawned. This is my first little creature I'm seen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was quite excited because there's something in Skyblocks which is very scary now. And that is the phantom 
And how am I going to get beds? By using either sheep wool or string. Probably string, because I don't know if I can get sheep to spawn on that one block of grass. But unfortunately, as you saw, the spider didn't drop anything. And yes, the cocoa bean has a fully grown look. Again, a bit of time lapsey stuff going on here. But with one cocoa bean, you seem to mostly get two. And then, yeah, from that one, I can actually reproduce that and hopefully fill up that little jungle log pillar I've got going. And look, another night has approached. That's how long things take to grow. And uh, yeah, skeleton uh, happened to spawn, which is something, one, I don't really want in a sky block. Because obviously, if they shoot an arrow at you, you get knocked back. And two, um, I kind of want it, if that makes sense, because it can drop bones. And bones is going to speed up everything, right? Look how much hearts are damaged. And by the way, this is actually on hard as well. Um, and I'm kind of playing it like if it was a hardcore. I'm playing on bedrock edition. And unfortunately, there isn't a hardcore. Look at that. Come on. What is the wandering trader doing? This guy spawns literally anywhere and everywhere, doesn't he? But yeah, uh, llamas are pretty useful because obviously, unfortunately, if you kill them, they drop a leather, right? I can use that leather to craft item frames and a variety of things, but mainly armor, right? At the start would be very helpful. And uh, obviously, I get some leads as well, which could come in handy if I get any passive mob spawning or if I need to lead some boats around or, you know, all these different things. But anyway, leads is very good. Again, another tree has grown, and as I, I'm just going to kind of keep cutting this in like that so you can see a bit of the island progressing, it's expanding, and obviously you're going to see cocoa beans and stuff growing. But yeah, I'm constantly just making slabs, and I decide to bite the bullet, and we're going to make the composter now. Now this does cost a bit of slabs, but it's kind of worth it in a way, because you can sometimes get bone meal. But using saplings and using cocoa beans, you don't necessarily... <laughs> always get a lot if that makes sense so some it's almost like you need stacks of the stuff to actually get bone meal but anyway i decide to uh make some sissy rails as i as i like to call it um just for the pure fact i don't want to fall off and yes look we got our first creeper scary stuff and he actually dropped something and i don't know why i've said it's a he it actually dropped something um, yeah, we got some gunpowder from it. Not very useful right now, but maybe in the future I can use that to make TNT or rockets. And look what house happened. A skeleton with, like, full gold armor on. Very scary stuff. But I stupidly knocked him off the edge. Weeps. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly cut this in a bit. You're gonna see, like, spiders and stuff that are spawning. And I decide to um, end up putting a um, the other dirt block over here to try and get this to spread. Again, I'm trying this out for the first time. I don't know what's even possible, but I'm hoping if there's two grass blocks, because that will eventually spread onto there, maybe, you know, I will get some passive mobs. And a whole day went past, and I was didn't even realize. I was kind of just AFK on my phone or something. And I realized, oh my god, there's a zombie in front of me. But yeah, they don't attack you, thank god, if you're standing um, in a composter. Didn't know that. But yes, you can see my whole jungle little log pillar here is complete. That's how much cocoa beans I've been getting. And now I could start to collect them and obviously bone meal them. Or compost them, I should say, into bone meal. Um, I'm also noticing with the moon, right? I don't know if it's just me, but when the moon seems to be not full brightness, I think more things spawn. I don't know if that's true or not. Let me know in the comments section. I'm probably making it up. But after playing this and seeing it, I pretty sure it is because things seem to spawn more often if it's not as a full moon if that makes sense quite strange because you would have thought it would have been anyway you can see i'm getting more mobs now because i've been expanding that little grass platform um so more things have a chance of spawning there and look i'm in a bit of a tight situation here i've got a, a very broken wooden sword i decide to break this block underneath and there we go we got it we got a fully equipped sword here and again, <laughs> I'm not getting any bones. I'm getting rotten flesh. Now, rotten flesh, as you probably can tell already, is my food of choice on this little, uh, little, um, I should say, little series, I hope. Um, because I really, I really, really hope that I can keep this going because it's so fun. <laughs> um, yeah, food of choice is, is rotten flesh, unfortunately. Um, and here we go. Um, I'm quite well known for making trap doors and uh, you're going to see a lot of them in this. <laughs> I, I use trapdoors like no tomorrow. I love the trapdoor. It's one of my favorite blocks. It's probably the best block in the game. 
um, just because of so much uses it's got. <laughs> it's great for little contraptions to make little mob farms. As you can see, I'm trying to work out here. Can I punch a mob through that gap? Because skeletons are a big problem here. They, they can shoot me, creepers can blow up, and zombies can creep up on me and punch me off the edge quite easily. So I've got to make something, right? So this is uh, trial number one. I can punch through there, look. So it's it's okay, but the problem here is I can't really get in and out of it very well. So I have to just put blocks on the side for now and jump across. Very dangerous, um, especially in a void world, because if I fall, I'm, I'm gone, right? And I've lost everything. So yeah, that happened. And it decided to rain after like six days, because we started on day one, right? And look where you spawned in. The one on trader and as you just saw there he is actually selling the lava bucket now i've put this at seven emeralds it's always going to be seven emeralds it's just to make it a grind if that makes sense so you kind of need to get emeralds before you can actually get lava but it's a very rare chance that he will actually spawn in with it it's always the same um trade table as like the the tropical fish and stuff anyway i caught this creeper in a boat <laughs> what an absolute idiot i am what was that all about, Dan? What? Why did you do that? Um, but yeah, you can see as well that I've kind of tweaked the uh, so-called defense system, I would like to call it, um, just to just to make my, my make my life a bit more safer. Also, I moved these because they were kind of getting in my way. Like, you might have noticed when I was fighting the gold skeleton and stuff, I have to kind of like shimmy past it to, to attack them. But basically, the cocoa bean hitbox was getting in the way. So I decided to just move these basically. Why not? And then they're going to grow exactly the same here. Out of my way. Beautiful. And uh, the colour of choice on this series as well, obviously, is brown, right? <laughs> because I, I've got loads of brown dye now because of cocoa beans, obviously. Um, but yeah. But doing things like this, I'm obtaining a few extra slabs and stuff. So it's very useful as well. Obviously, I haven't got a lot of bones. But yeah, this is my system for now. So the zombies will come over and I can just flip these trap doors like this and they will get stuck, look. It's okay. It's not fantastic, but it's working for now. Um, again, I don't have a lot of wood. I'm still trying to grow saplings over there. But yes, look, rotten flesh means food. Yum, yum for my tum-tum. Um... Yeah, I, I can't stand rotten flesh anymore. It, it's horrible. And look, I managed to get some bone meal from a skeleton and nothing happened. And yes, I've got armor and things. It's very basic stuff. You know, I'm just waiting for things to spawn and waiting for things to grow. But look, it's taken me nearly 10 days just to do this. Anyway, I decided to uh, break my actual defense system just because I think I can make it better. And look, another one of these guys spawned in. And this one had a bucket of a tropical fish and nothing really useful. So we're going to say goodbye to you, mate. <laughs> the amount of these guys I've killed. Oh, God. But yeah, we got some leather. But I didn't actually kill this guy. I actually decided to keep him in the end because I was trying to get the invisibility potion for the lols. No, I kind of wanted the bottle. That's what I wanted. Um, but I was trying to use him as a bit of a, like a bait to get these zombies to come over. But yes, is this system better? It feels like it is. Ah, but there is a slight problem. The zombies can fall off. So that's not so good. So we need to make some sort of like barricades or upgraded sissy rails just to keep the zombies or any mobs that actually do come towards me so they don't fall off. So yeah. We have to kind of redesign this again, but we basically just need the birch tree to grow. Um, but I'm kind of hoping I get this guy's armor because this would be quite helpful for me. Come on. Are you going to give it to me? He's got so much health because of it. Nope, he didn't give it to me. We just got some yummy rotten flesh. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yummy rotten flesh. So I noticed that the actual grass block has decided to finally spread. But regardless... I can plant my sapling there. But remember, that is the only grass block I've got on this entire world. So if I lose it, I ain't getting any seeds. I ain't getting any passive mobs or anything like that. Anyway, I decide to upgrade my platform and add a, another layer to it. 
just to make mobs spawn on top of it and spawn below it if it's hopefully um you know daytime maybe but mob spawning's changed now so i think it has to be complete darkness but at the time i didn't really completely understand that i forgot basically <laughs> um but you can see i've kind of added an extra uh, trap door here with obviously getting some birch and stuff but yes there's a pillager raid that's kind of spawned in oh, or a patrol i should say um i'm more than certain that they don't spawn with vindicators anymore but this is very scary but you can tell my extra layer has obviously helped here so we got about four zombies in there one of them's a villager zombie and we got a couple of these uh, pillagers as well. All good stuff though, because aha, Dan's making some lovely walls to keep these guys in. This is all good stuff though, because I can get hopefully get some carrots or potatoes or even an iron ingot. Because don't forget, zombies drop iron ingots. Okay, very important, especially if I want to make a bucket or a cauldron or something, right? But yes, the pillagers will actually hopefully drop because they more they, they they you know they pretty much drop every time arrows. Arrows are very useful, especially for this kind of battle right now. I need a bit of ranged combat. And not only that, they might actually drop a um, crossbow as well. Anyway, I'm trying to get these guys over here because, as you can tell, I've only got four rotten flesh. I kind of need as much food as I can get. I'm checking the time, okay. We kind of need these guys to come over. Though, pillagers are very fast, but this is a good example of how cool this little trapdoor system is. I can just smack these guys in the belly. And away I go. You know, they, they can see me, but they can't see me. But yeah, unfortunately, I got this uh, bad omen effect. But it's changed. You don't really get particles anymore, which is beautiful. So it's not really a big deal anymore. So yeah, I quite like that, that they've done that. I think they must have removed the particles completely. So maybe people are getting so annoyed with them. But anyway, I knocked that guy off the edge because it's a bit dangerous. And I did get some arrows, look. But I don't know if that was already in my hotbar or not. Maybe... But I also got that beautiful banner and I decided to put it there. And look, a skeleton spawned. These are very useful. As you can tell, I've got two bones on me already. Bone meal. This is this is how I'm going to get speeded up. Speeded up? Sped up. In my um, my little uh, challenge, I should say. So there we go. We've got four bones. That e equivalates to quite a bit of bone meal for me. Um, Twelve to be precise. And that means, hopefully, I can grow some saplings, which I did... And I got 19 birch logs on me. Now, this is a very, a lot. So I decided to make another layer. Look, why not? Let's upgrade this thing. It seemed to have worked. So and I've added another trapdoor. And I've made the walls a bit more longer. And you can see I'm getting a bit more upgraded now. So this is really, really cool. And also, I can afford to make more swords and things. you got to remember that I've literally got <laughs> birch. That's all I have. And I can rely on mob drops for now so as you can tell this is a huge grind whenever i get anything new it's like yes this is so cool but look at this guy he's got a lovely enchanted chainmail armor and i actually got it which is awesome and it's protection free so i've actually got a full set of chainmail armor on me right now just from killing zombies and skeletons and stuff bonkers isn't it absolutely bonkers but yeah i'm still trying to kill um spiders just because of beds right but you got to remember, at this point, I haven't even seen a phantom yet. Now, I'm pretty sure insomnia happens after three days of not sleeping, right? But I'm on day 12. I, uh, I explain? I, I, don't, I don't understand. Oh, there we go. There's the phantom I was just talking about. Yes, it actually bit me in the bottom um, when I wasn't really paying attention. And I could have GG'd it there. Like, got knocked off the edge, basically. Luckily, I uh, wasn't actually AFK at the time. I was kind of peeking to see if I could see any mobs. But yeah, you can see behind me, I've also duplicated the um, the basic the design of my trapdoor system just to prevent any baby zombies or zombies secretly getting in. But yeah, I'm trying to lure this thing with boats. So if you didn't know, phantoms can actually ride boats. And yeah, it's a great tactic when you're not really well equipped like I am right now. <laughs> Boats are very useful and obviously trap doors. Without those two things, oh, this would be near impossible. But you can see the moon is um, not, it's, it's fully covered up. Basically, it's not a full moon. It's a, I guess, eclipse, is it? Is that what you call it? I don't really know. Um, it's, it's a moon that you can't really see the brightness very much. So I was quite happy because obviously from testing and playing this, I'm more than certain that you get more mobs 
at those times when it's more darker. But look at this guy. He spawned in and he had dripstone. So valuable dripstone. I could obviously make infinite lava and things. Anyway, I decide to kind of tower up here um, where my little so-called mob farm, I'm going to call it now, because it used to be the grass platform, but it's started to extend now <laughs> into a, a bit of a mob platform. Um, but yeah, my idea was to kind of make a roof so this thing could work during the day. And look what happened. It started raining and an enderman spawned in and he died. He couldn't teleport off it for some unknown reason. I guess it's because I'm using half slabs and stuff and he gets he got a bit confused. But anyway, uh, yeah, he died and he dropped his ender pearls, So that's pretty cool. And I got a couple of zombies here. Now, when it rains, it's actually classed as it being nighttime pretty much. And mobs will spawn. So when it rains on here, it's actually quite beneficial for me. But this is another way how I'm going to get water on here. Now, eventually, if I ever get a cauldron by killing zombies um, to get the iron or by killing witches because I've added that in. Quite a rare, rare drop though, mind. Um, yeah, I can obviously collect the rain in the cauldron. But yes, I got an ender pearl. Not very useful to me right now. And also, you probably saw there, you take damage when you're in a boat. Why Why do we take damage? On Java, they don't. Yeah, I'm still bone milling, um, not bone milling, composting down <laughs> the uh, coca beans for bone meal, I should say. Um, just to help speed up things as well. You can see I'm getting a few things. I've made a double chest now. Uh, obviously, adding these different layers and because it was raining and stuff, you know, skeletons are spawning. Skeletons are skeletons and skeletons. I need skeletons. And look at all these skeletons. There's so many skeletons. I love skeletons. <gasps> I don't really. They're so annoying. But on these kind of worlds, they're great because obviously bones. Without them, this would be such a grind. <laughs> <laughs> like unbelievably such a grind but anyway more bones means more wood and more wood means more roof oh my god yeah there was um some creepers there that i did not expect as you can see i was getting shot by a, a couple of skeletons as well as you can see the arrows are there um but the reason i really wanted to go up there was because i spotted a spider now this spider is the key to me making a bed yes he hopefully will hold the last piece of string that I potentially need. Now, obviously, they don't always drop strings, so I knew that at the time. Um, so I took a risk there, but I did not know about the creepers. So, yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. But I decided to use up some of the arrows I've got from the pillagers I've killed and the skeletons to just take this guy out. Now, that bow, by the way, I actually crafted up just, again, to kind of deal with mobs that are spawning. Because right now, I can't push these guys off otherwise. And, oh. oh. my god, it dropped the string. Okay, cool. That's good. So that means we can make a bed now. Anyway, while I'm up here, I will just finish up that. And there we go. I've collected enough string to make three pieces of wool. And you probably guessed it already. What color bed am I going to make? <laughs> I've got one color of it. Well, I haven't. I've got actually two. I've got white dye as well. Um... Oh, no, I could also make a white bed with white wool, right? But I got one color. Yes, it's going to be brown, isn't it, guys? <laughs> and look at this. This is so mean. Why is that one took so much? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to make our bed. Now, this is only useful for me to sleep through the night. Um, but the way I actually sleep through the night is when the day is the night is almost over, if that makes sense. So it comes up to being the sunrise time on Minecraft because... I don't want to waste a night. The night is the only time I can get bones and stuff. So the main reason me making this is to prevent insomnia. And obviously, I need to place this thing down. And yes, it sets my spawn. But if I die, guys, it's over. So it's not really about that. It's mainly for the insomnia thing to stop the phantoms. So yeah, I decided to just place it here for now. Um, it's a very tem temperamental, temporary place, I should say, for now. And look at this. This is coming on. There's a lot of speed editing here going on because, again, this was a very, very long video. I've cut this up as best I can. And uh, look at this thing now. There's a big problem, though. And the big problem is I need torches, and I've only got four. But, obviously, you could put half slabs down as well to prevent um, mobs spawning up there. But at the current time... Oh, I got a witch as well in the boat. At the current time, um, yeah, I don't really have a lot of wood, as you can tell. But, yes, an enderman spawned in, and I've caught a witch. Oof. That 
Honestly, at the time, it gave me a heart attack. Because if that was a instant damage potion, again, I would have died. Straight away, dead. Like, dead, dead. I would have been dead. Properly dead. <laughs> how, can, how many times can I say dead? Anyway, I obviously had a, quite a few bones, as you saw then. And, yeah, I've started to protect this a bit better now. I decide to um, bite the bullet here and rip down the original security system. Because I don't think I need it. And I want to get closer to these guys because I want them to come near me. Now, this is a perfect example of how powerful trapdoors are. I, the, the little zombie can't even get through, which is awesome. So I don't even have to worry about them. That is the ultimate setup for this. But yeah, witches. I am trying to make sure I kill every witch I see um, right now. Yes, I need to keep one of them because that's how I'm going to cure that guy right above him. Um... Obviously, I'm not going to cure them right now. I don't have enough resources to do that. Um, but yes, witches throw weakness potions, right? And you can actually cure them. Look what I just got from that zombie. A carrot. Very handy. So I've got a carrot now, as well as a potato, right? But yeah, witches are very handy on here because obviously they drop cauldrons. Um, obviously, that's not a vanilla thing. I've added it in. I didn't need to add it in, but I've added it in because it would just help with the grind a bit. I, again, I don't need to add it in. It's just a, a bonus feature. Rather than just giving it to you, you have to work for it, sort of thing. Yeah, pillager raids are still spawning up there, even though I've put half slabs up there, which is very strange. Um, I don't really know why they spawned up there. And yes, there's a wandering trader around here somewhere. <laughs> He's invisible right now. But um, yeah, this thing actually works pretty well for creepers as well. Um, they can still see you, and it, I do have a few accidents still. Um, you probably haven't seen any on camera because I'm pretending like I'm really good, yeah? <laughs> um, yeah, I edited them out. A couple of explosions happen, obviously, through testing and, and working out how this little mechanic's going to work. Um, but the, yeah, the creeper, they, they kind of see you. Not really. Um, but yeah. Another Enderman, guys. And this one actually dropped a pearl, which is really cool. And look, the roof is complete, which is really nice. So now, fingers crossed, this shall work in the daytime. Oh, okay, it's complete, kind of. I just haven't filled in the half slab situation. But we really need skeletons for bones, right? And yes, we're on day 19 right now. And you see how much progress I've done. It's not really a lot, is it? This is very grindy, guys. <laughs> oh, we, we don't we don't want to mess with that guy. We, we're just getting out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, I, I just I just left that guy. He he, he went bye byes. I shot him. I shot him down. Anyway, I've got enough wood here just to kind of add a bit more to this. So what I've actually learned from doing these kind of mob farms in the past is I think you need to do seven blocks if I'm not mistaken. That's what I did from the actual spawning platform. Um. So I've based it from the um, bottom one, as you could probably tell. Um, we're not quite there yet, almost there. But sometimes, like you can see, there's a dark patch now where the grass block is. So it's kind of working. But again, the mob mechanics have changed, so I was a bit skeptical if this was going to work. Uh, I was a bit like, I hope it works because not to get mobs in a day is a bit of a pain. But yeah, look how much armor I've actually obtained now. And you can see I've got two carrots as well. That wasn't me bone milling um, dirt or anything. I actually obtained that. But anyway, I decided to up the game again and add extra spawning platforms. Now, this is pretty good because, one, it's pretty cheap, but it will actually hopefully get more things to spawn. But um, also, um, it's, it's not so good because I need to kind of knock them off, especially for these guys, what I'm just killing right now, the spider. Yeah, they, they, they don't really fall through the gap, so I kind of have to use up arrows, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's not the greatest design. Um, so, I kind of, like, start thinking about this a bit more, and I start redesigning this. I start tweaking it and playing around with it and chop down more trees to get more wood and kill mobs. And basically, this is a complete repeating pattern that I'm doing and constantly keep progressing this. Anyway... I decide, because I'm not convinced that this is fully working properly because of this new mechanic um, of the mob spawning, I decide to encase the whole mob farm in wood. Now, I kid you not, guys, this took me forever to do. Obviously, I had to um, 
you know, kill a lot of skeletons and stuff. And I started to make more chests as well, just for more storage, because I'm getting a lot. Um, as you can see, the days are kind of going up very, very fast. And I've kind of, I think, currently, yeah, I've almost finished, look. We're on day 27, look. I thought this was a great idea, you know. In case the whole thing in blocks, make this thing fully <laughs> dark, sorry. And, um, yeah, I was just about to say the grass block is still there. It's very funny. I can't get rid of it because I don't have silk touch, right? Um, and I'm hoping, like, a zombie spawns in with shovels with silk touch because I know they can. But, yeah, it's fully encased. And it kind of looked like a giant wood mushroom very strange um but yeah obviously my mob farm works a bit better now i can get more bones and stuff and i can actually afford to make these four weapons i should call them um this is basically my setup right now rotten flesh bow four axes four swords um anyway next day approached and i sat down and i seriously guys sat down and chopped down the whole thing because it just was not working right. It was an absolute nightmare. Zombies and skeletons and stuff were getting stuck. And spiders were getting... It was just rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. And I knocked the whole thing down with wooden axes. Oh my god, guys. It took six in-game days to do. Which is, what? One Minecraft day is 20 minutes. Yeah, you, you do the maths. <laughs> I actually recorded the whole thing. But... I was going to do it as a time lapse, but it was too long, even at 10,000 speed. Um, yeah, I'm an absolute madman. Yeah, I could have gone into creative and done that, but why would I? I I'm not a cheater. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I remember a very long time ago, I made a mob farm based off a farm from Lister, who's a big person in my community. You chat out there for you, sir. Um, he made a, a mob farm, a dry mob farm using leaf blocks and... I kind of made a, a, an adapted version to it. Now, I think originally... I'll have a link for it in the in the corner of the video. You, the original mob farm for you um, to see. It normally has leaves and stuff on it. But I've actually added two more layers. And the idea is, on his, it used to use buttons. But they've changed that. Now, mobs used to think buttons were full blocks. So you probably know this if you make mob farms and stuff. So unfortunately, we have to use trapdoors. Again, I don't mind trapdoors, but they're very, very pricey, especially for a kind of thing like this. But yeah, I'm calling this the mob hotel because it just looks like a hotel block in my opinion. Obviously, I don't have a roof yet and I don't have any leaves um, to basically the leaves, what I'm, I'm getting at. The leaves push off the mobs automatically. Um, obviously, I don't have shears and I don't have silk touch. But yeah, this thing is amazing. This changed everything. I'm so happy I knocked down my original mob farm. Randomly remembered that mob farm and then made up my own version of it, kind of. And yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And look at this guy. <laughs> oh god, these wandering traders, man. Hilarious. I decided to actually uh, shoot him to try and get this <laughs> llama to fall off. And look, just look what happened. Like... What What is going on? <laughs> but anyway, you can see the uh, mob spawning. Um, it's actually a pretty decent farm, if I must say myself. It's, um, you know, the rates are not that bad. It's quite inconsistent, though. Um, that's only because I don't have certain things. But anyway, I'm constantly killing mobs, expanding it. Killing mobs, making a roof. You can see this is getting a bit bigger. I've got a few bones in a chest now. I'm that confident that i can actually store bones now look how much rotten flesh look how much gunpowder i've got this is all killing manually by the way yes some mobs do fall to their death as well and look what happened day 39 i got my first iron ingot now i've not modified any zombie drops or anything this is pure vanilla i haven't done anything like that the only mobs that i have modified again is the witch and the drowned um just to make the drowned drop gold ingots like they used to as well as copper ingots um and obviously the witch for the cauldron. But yeah, you can definitely see that this mob farm is completely improved. And I think at this current stage, I've got the roof complete. Um, but yeah, I'm getting mob drops like no tomorrow now. So I decide to uh, up the game a bit here. Because i got that many bones. And look how much wood I've got. I I'm going to make a second one. Because <laughs> I'm an absolute madman. I, I just feel like double the power double double the the resources so i just get on with it and i actually lined it up really really nicely i think 
So yeah, this is a very edited cuts sort of thing, but you can see I'm basically mimicking exactly the same farm. And yeah, look at this, guys. Just look in my hotbar. I've got 64 birch logs, but I think I've actually got more than that. Oh, it's such a good feeling to have a stack of logs on here. Yes, I got another 21. Beautiful. Look at all these bones and bows and all this other stuff. Look how much wood this is. But basically, all that wood is going to be pretty much converted into trapdoors. Now, unfortunately, um, as you probably know, six planks equal a trapdoor. And per one layer, it's 40... Oh, another iron ingot. Nice. Um, one layer is actually 48 trapdoors because it's 16 by um, by three. And yeah, it equivalents to quite a bit of logs, as you can um, imagine, and planks. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of finishing this up. For those extra logs I got and I spotted um, a witch and stuff and as you could see whenever I spot witches whenever I spot zombies wearing armor or see them holding a shovel or a sword or you know see a skeleton with an enchanted bow I will instantly go for it because if they drop that that might change things for me like look at this guy he's got a sword is he gonna drop it that's the question come on little dude and he dropped it and look it's a pretty repaired iron sword but yes, I can use that as a weapon, but I'm rather melt that down whenever I get a furnace somehow. <laughs> and look, I decided to keep the ladder here and I was going to make a roof for this thing, but then I didn't in the end. Um, just because I thought it doesn't really need it. I've got one with a roof. I don't want to waste the resources. You know, it's a long grind. And look what I just got from killing that zombie. It's very strange, right? Since I made this mob farm, how did I get... Six, in six days, I got three iron ingots. And look what happened there. Don't quite understand that. A actual creeper blew up next to the grass block. Didn't break. Can anyone explain that in the comments section? Because I cannot explain that. I don't know why it didn't break. But yeah. Spider witch. Killed it. No cauldron. And you can see day 45. I still have not even seen a cauldron. That's how rare they are, guys. Very, very rare. But look at all this mob drops. And look, he actually dropped another iron ingot. So again... Between 39 to 46, I just got four iron ingots. No idea how. I don't have looting. I, I, I can't explain that. Very, very cool. But yeah, look at all this stuff I've got. This is ridiculous. I wanted to kind of just show you this little edit here. I've got a lot of bows and I've made a double chest just for bows. And look at all these shovels and things I've got. It's really... Oh, it's starting to rack up now. But yeah, I'm keeping these bows because eventually I want to use these for fuel. I know it's a bit silly and a bit tedious to put them in manually. I don't have hoppers and things, but it's free fuel for me, right? I don't really want to chop down logs and turn it into charcoal. Yeah, I've got a, um, a double chest full of armor right now. <laughs> oh, God. I can pick and choose what armor I want. It's really cool. And I've got a witch here. I'm hoping she drops bottles with this cauldron. Yay, we got some sugar that I really don't need. Um, Obviously, keep expanding this and obviously making it so the mobs fall off. That's the idea of the trap doors. And look at this guy. He's spawning with a full set of iron armor. Yes, please. Um, I'm hoping I can actually obtain this from this guy. Especially the uh, chest play. That would be nice. It's enchanted. I wonder what's on it. Come on, dude. Oh, he's taking a beating. There we go. We got leggings. Oh, that's not so cool. What's going on here with this creeper? Nothing. Let's blow up this creeper and shoot. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was a scary moment. I'm not going to lie. That made me jump. Um, I did not even tell there was a creeper there. And you might have noticed I put, like, walls around. This is to prevent skeleton shooting me from the other side if that makes sense i don't want to be accidentally shot and knocked off things like that um oh this zombie spawned in as well and he actually had an enchanted um shovel so i went straight for him and i managed to actually grab it but at the time of recording or playing i didn't even know i had it um Again, I'm killing pretty much any zombie I will possibly see to try and get either carrots, potatoes, and obviously the iron ingots that I need. Um, but yeah, I did actually get the iron the iron shovel, but what's it got on it, guys? You're not going to believe it. Oh, still touch. Yes. Say goodbye to that one grass block that's been there 
for a very long time. I think 49 days, right? I think I put it on the second day. I'm not too sure. There we go. We got the grass plot back. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. That is huge. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking in the comments section or watching this, how am I going to get more dirt? Because, like, I've got a, a grass block and a dirt block. And I've got a music disc. Um, Don't forget the Wandering Trader actually sells Podzol and Moss. So if I can get emeralds, I can make dirt, basically. Um, you might have noticed there as well, I was growing some wheat seeds. I bone mealed the grass I got. And I got some flowers as well. But yeah, I decided to just make cookies. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I'd never made a cookie in Minecraft. Can you believe that? <laughs> I didn't even know the recipe. I thought it was a wheat and cocoa beans. I was I was right though, but it was like, it's two cocoa beans, I think, and a wheat. Or am I still making that up? I don't really know. Um, anyway, a witch spawned in and she dropped some a glowstone, I believe. Um, yeah, not very valuable to me right now. Maybe if I can get a brewing stand, it might end up being quite valuable. Uh, but if I actually got four of them, it would be quite valuable. I got three, so I only needed one more. I could have made a, a glowstone as a light source, right? But yes, this is my accumulated stuff right now. I've got all of that stuff without bone mailing, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm, oh, carrots are winning right now. And look, did you see? Can you just see how many logs I've got? <laughs> this is the repeating pattern. Kill mobs, use the bones to bone meal. Kill mobs, use the bones to bone meal. Very, very tedious. And look what happened, guys. I just killed a witch and look what it dropped. A cauldron! She dropped just one cauldron. I could not believe that. Um, And as you saw in that last clip, it was raining, unfortunately. <laughs> By the time I killed the skeleton and all that, it, it stopped raining. Typical. But yeah, we got a cauldron. Now, again, I don't need to add this if I didn't really want to, but it's just to kind of spice it up. You know, which is a very rare anyway, so I don't think it's that much of an OP problem. But yes, with this iron that I've got from killing the zombies, I can make myself a bucket. So when it eventually rains, that cauldron will hopefully fill up, and I can use um, the bucket just to scoop it out, basically. And look at all this stuff I've got now. I've got so much gunpowder and rotten flesh. Oh my god. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And look at all these bows. It's completely full. And I've started the next chest. Unbelievable. And this chest is almost full. But the beauty of keeping all this armor, guys, is I can disenchant it. And obviously melt it down as well and get more iron and gold. Again, when I get a furnace. If I get a furnace, that is. Um. Anyway, what am I doing here? Right, I'm actually making myself a mob grinder classic one but i'm actually going to turn it into a drowned mob grinder that's the idea so obviously i just got myself a cauldron and this is essentially what i've been saving my wood up for to make this thing um this was my idea just to thinking off the top of my head i've only got a three torches spare here so i can only do this and i've um cut this quite a lot and i've made the classic mob grinder all ready to go i just need the water to fill it up boom so that is completed i'm very happy with that it didn't take me too long, a couple of days, I think. Um, and look what I'm trying to do here. Trying to get a beehive. I remembered, oh yeah, if you've got flowers. I don't know why this wasn't growing, though. Oh. It's because I never took away the logs, Dan, you idiot. Yeah, I um, I, I don't know why. I, I must have saw something like the witch or something and just chopped down a bit of the tree. And, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you ain't going to believe that, guys. That was my first go. And I got a beehive straight away. Beautiful. With three bees in it. Now, bees are not very useful right now, I guess. But honey is quite useful, if that makes any sense. Um, because witches, right, they throw poison potions at you all the time, right? And if you didn't know already, um, honey cures poison. So it's basically like milk, kind of. Just, just cures poison. I don't mean anything else. Anyway, I tried this technique because obviously I don't have a campfire. D didn't really work, did it? <laughs> I had a bee chasing me. Oh, this is so stupid. So, so stupid. I didn't even know what to do, and I don't want the bee to die. So I just ran away. He didn't like me stealing his honey. Poor thing. I was really scared, though, because like, if they can poison you, right? And I don't want to get poisoned. I really don't want to get poisoned. Because that brings you right down your hearts, right? Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm safe from hiding up here because their cooldown isn't that long look at that llama as well so yeah noted to myself don't use a trapdoor to uh 
to obtain the honey. Switch it out, Dan. Eventually. I'm looking around as well, by the way, in the sky and stuff, just to see, like, what's going on? It's not rained anymore. It's quite strange. But anyway, I switched it out in the end for a half slab. And this is the system I went for in the end. Obviously, again, I don't have a campfire, so I can't do it properly. Um, but yeah, I've actually got three bottles now, which is quite nice. And I eventually decided to bite the bullet and just start bone mealing some carrots. Now, they're not great, but it's better than me eating rotten flesh and getting saturation, poison, hunger effect, or whatever it is, every time. Or using up the honey, which is a bit valuable, if you know what I mean. So I decided to do that. Anyway, I, was, I noticed I didn't put a trap door on one of the slots, and look what happened! It started raining! <laughs> And you know what rain means? Water in my two cauldrons. Yes, I actually got another one from killing a witch. Um, but I noted, noted to myself as well. I noticed, sorry, I actually had some bottles spare. Now, bottles are very OP because you can actually kind of so-called duplicate your liquids with this very easily. Um, yeah, I could fill up the whole cauldron very quickly with this. And I've also made a jacuzzi behind me, I like to call it. It's actually a, a way to make infinite water, but I always call it a jacuzzi. I don't know why, or a spa. But yeah, using the bottles, look, I can just fill this up very fast. And, oh, it's actually missing one. There we go. And now I can make an infinite water source. Boom, done. The cauldrons are obsolete now. I don't need you anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> that would have been possible if I didn't have bottles. Obviously, I could have just waited for it to fill up again but it's a bit quicker that way anyway look we are filling this up so i've never made one of these before well obviously i've made the mob grinder before but not made it for changing drowned or zombies into drowns it works um there was some uh, problems though again using the magical trap doors and signs to keep the liquid in um yeah i managed to keep these guys in and it seems to be working there. there's a drown there creepers will die but skeletons they just sink and stay there and witches will die as well and spiders i think die as well but i don't think i ever saw a spider in there so maybe they just died but look my first drown i dropped a copper ingot now i know what some of you guys are going to say you didn't need to add the gold ingots you can make lightning rods and then convert pigs into zombie pigmen but guys seriously Right now, I still have not even seen a passive mob, so at the time, I didn't know um, if this was even going to be possible to get passive mobs, because I've only got a grass block and a dirt block, so I don't know if mobs can spawn on just two blocks, if you know what I mean, because obviously if the grass converted across. So, I added it in as a backup safety kind of thing. So, obviously, if pigs did spawn, I would have probably not gone down the route of making loads of drowned and killing them to get gold ingots. I would have gone down making breeding pigs because obviously I've got carrots, right? I can breed them. So yeah, obviously a lightning strikes are quite rare as well. Um, so there's there's two ways to do this, basically. You could obviously make a lightning rod with the copper ingots and then obviously convert the pigs that way. And then obviously they would um, drop gold nuggets and ingots and stuff. And obviously gold swords as well. But again, I don't have, um, you know... What do you call it? A furnace to melt it down. Anyway, I'm kind of making that there to try and get some mobs to spawn. As you can tell, I obviously thought about the whole pig thing as well. That's why I was trying to get two pieces of grass there to see if, again, I could get mobs to spawn. I wanted to put a torch there to try and encourage the grass to spawn and obviously make it work in the night. And, um, yeah, the, the, the grinder thing I made was a bit of a... It wasn't so great, guys. Um... It just wasn't spawning stuff. Not like this mob farm over here. So I decided to just modify this. Add some more trapdoors to it. Add some water down here. And make this into some sort of drowned zombie farm thingy. This is what I came up with. And it was absolutely fantastic, guys. I cannot stress this enough. It was absolutely awesome. It really worked so well. So basically... I would attract the zombies, and I set up a few ladders and stuff so I could climb on top of my um, my builds and stuff and shoot all the, the mobs that I don't want to keep and then obviously lure the zombies down there. And then that was it, really. They would just convert. Now, I didn't even know this, but did you know that zombie villagers don't change? I, I've never really made drowns. I've only seen them in rivers and the ocean, but 
Um, yeah, zombie villagers don't actually change into drone, which is quite strange, I think. But it's a good way of filtering them out. Note that. <laughs> yeah, because they don't actually die in the water, you can just filter them quite easily. Now, as you can see, there is actually a gold ingot in there, so I was very, very intrigued. I've also added some trap doors in front of me as well. Ouch, you stupid spider. Yeah, this is the only problem with this kind of setup, is the spiders. They can climb on anything, right? I kind of needed to add a bit more lips to everything so they can um, climb. But yeah, I kind of got stuck in here, so I kind of had to modify this a little bit. But yeah, I was so happy I got a gold ingot, and I got a pretty decent chest plate. But I'm noticing something here. The durability is really high, and I've got a iron shovel that's completely repaired. Hang on a minute. Is that drown bug still in this? I thought they fixed that. I don't, I don't think they did fix it. Um, I started to really play around with this mechanic. Basically, if a zombie is wearing armor or holding a, a sword or a, a shovel or something, or spawned in with it, basically, and it converts into a drowned, it will actually repair everything. No idea why. Great bug, especially for things like this. Because you don't have to constantly switch and swap out your armor and your tools and stuff. But yeah, I wanted to show you this. Look, this is just was not working. I think maybe I was just too far away from it or something. But anyway, this guy actually died. I ran in here to grab the bits and... Yeah. A big mistake happened. Um, One big design flaw there. <laughs> I can't really get the items without going in there. So it's a bit of a problem. Now that could have been, again, another failure for me. Um, luckily, he obviously spawned in the water or fell in the water and blew up in the water. But look what happened! I couldn't believe my eyes! It's chickens! <laughs> chickens spawned in, guys! I genuinely, like, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> What's happened? You know, it's like, how, wh where did these go? What? It does work! Two grass blocks could spawn in passive mobs. And these guys spawned in at night time. So I decided to just lead them up. And I'll play with them later. Um, for now, I just wanted to make sure that I couldn't get them to despawn. Because, again, eggs aren't that valuable. But chicken's very valuable. But again, I can't cook it. Um, there was one way I could have cooked it. As you probably could tell right now, I'm shooting with it. It's a flame bow that I obtained. And... Yeah, I could have cooked these guys up, but this is like a typical system here that I've got set up. And it's really, really beneficial and really, really useful. I couldn't believe how easy this was to do. I was really like, how am I going to do this? And yep, I can just stop these guys from hitting me like that. And what I need to do, if I've got other mobs in there and stuff, is filter them out by using the trap doors. So as I said earlier, I did put some ladders around and I wanted to put another ladder up here somewhere just so I could get in and out and obtain all these items. Now, some of these are from me killing them. And look, I just got another cauldron then. And uh, yeah, some of them are from the mobs actually dropping. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I just can't believe it. Look how much XP I've got as well. You know this is from um, killing mobs. And I was just testing there. Is that parity feature come in? And I almost fell off then. <laughs> I, I genuinely like, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, my breath. Um, yeah, I was just testing if fishing rods could actually pick up items now, but they still can't. But yeah, this works so well. And these guys will spawn in with fishing rods and nautilus shells as well, which is really cool. But I don't think they can spawn in with tridents. I'm not too sure. I never saw one, but maybe I'm wrong. You can let me know in the comment section. Um, but anyway, I decided to open up the other side to kind of lure in any other zombies. But I was quite intrigued by this theory because right now you can see these guys are wearing leather armor right you can see they've dropped leather armor is this leather armor going to be um repaired because this is dan's theory it is look at it it's all repaired exactly the same amount this really got me thinking like can i just throw swords at these guys and yes i made a fishing rod um just for that sole purpose of pulling them guys off i thought it was a funny idea and it worked really well because I didn't damage him. But again, I was testing this theory. Does this work with tools then? Because it used to. And I'm pretty sure as certain I actually obtained already a, a shovel that was fully repaired. So I wanted to just confirm. Like, There's definitely a shovel in there, right? So that zombie was holding one. He's been converted into a drowned. 
And yeah, I've got a fully repaired uh, uh, diamond shovel, iron shovel on me with fortune and unbreaking too. And I've also got another shovel look. So there was one that was disenchanted and one that wasn't. So probably the baby one wasn't. But anyway, this is the most drowned I ever had in at one point. It's probably about 13 or 14 in total. And yes, I ended up breeding the two chickens. I kept them in the actual bee house, I'm going to call it, because it's not really a, a, a bee apiary. It's a uh, bee house. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I kept them in there and I started breeding them in there. And yeah, I've got loads of eggs now. And uh, yeah, if you didn't know, you can just put a piece of carpet as well. And it, those chickens wouldn't even be able to get out. But I put the, the uh, fence post there just for safety, basically. Um, I know they can't get out, but... I wanted to just put it there again for safety and I don't really want other mobs going in there like it was ever going to happen but you never know with a wandering trader maybe we get stuck in there or something but yeah we got a couple of gold ingots here but are these the, uh, the right amount yes they are guys I can tell you right now I killed so many drowned to get this as you can tell I've got quite a bit of gold um, gold and um what you call it copper ingots but now I am pretty much set to cure a zombie villager right i've got my golden apple i don't have a weakness potion but again we can get that from witches look how many chests there are that is all armor by the way <laughs> and the other one next to it is all bows i'm telling you i killed so many mobs and i've also got redstone now as well witches drop redstone don't forget and i've got a health potion there i made a couple of boats in advance obviously earlier on at the very start when we were playing with the phantom anyway Using the boats, I managed to get myself, again, I told you earlier on, that these guys do not change in water, so you can filter these out quite easily. Um, but yeah, I managed to trap one. you got to remember though, they burn in the daylight, so you've got to make sure you don't forget that. <laughs> um, yeah, I got my zombie villager. At this current point, I don't even know how much health he has got, because, you know, he might have fallen from the height or the higher like platforms, so I don't really know. I didn't want to attempt that. Anyway, my plan here was to get rid of the cauldrons, get rid of the composter. This is to, to prevent the villager changing profession. I wanted to make myself a fisherman villager. Now, I can't make a fletcher because I don't have flint. I wanted to make the fisher because of string. I got quite a lot of string and I'm pretty certain the fisherman sells or wants uh, string for emeralds, right? I think. Um, I'm constantly getting my honey as well because again witches make poison potions they throw them at you and again you might have saw there I've obviously got a load of carrots so I'm pretty much ready I'm literally waiting around to see a witch um that's all I need guys I've never done this before I don't even know it was like possible really I kind of googled it and had a good look I watched some videos and stuff and I really wanted to pull this off again I've never done this so it was like a first time thing and I want to see how possible is this to beat <laughs> the whole of this game in a void world with just a bonus chest. Anyway, I was fishing away and I noticed a zombie over there with a nice shiny iron helmet. And uh, yeah, I was just thinking to myself like, oh, there was a zombie there. I was just thinking to myself like, did I spot a witch or no? No, okay. There's nothing really going on in this one. Bit of a shame. But anyway, because that baby zombie came out, I needed to uh, block this off um, to prevent that happening again. Because you know me, I'm fishing away. I'm going to be on my phone or doing other things, twiddling my thumbs. And maybe I'll get caught off guard. Um, so yeah, I needed to make sure I blocked off any access to baby zombies. Looking around, can't see any witches. And you might have spotted it there when I accidentally shot the arrow. Um, yeah, there's a witch over there, look. So I was quite happy about this. I think this has been an extra day, maybe? But anyway, I got a witch following me. Very, very painful. I don't know if you've ever tried to do this, guys. But yeah, witch in the boat. Not fun. As I mentioned earlier, they poison you a lot. They can throw slowness potions. They can throw instant damage potions, which is the killer. And they obviously throw that magical weakness potion. But... After researching this into more detail, I did not realize that you have to be a minimum of three blocks distance. At the time, I didn't know that because I was trying to figure out, like, I've, I instantly thought in my head, Bedrock Edition doesn't have this feature. And I accidentally put some boots in there. That's bows then. 
bear in mind these are all full yeah these chests so <laughs> oh god anyway i got this zombie villager and i moved the witch basically i've, I've cut this down quite a lot because it was very tedious um i got the witch in the middle as you can tell i made some wool with string because I don't have the um, dirt block right now because obviously the bees have got it with the flower and the grass block is over there in the corner. Um, so yeah, I had to use some wool this time, not logs because or planks because I didn't have any more um, logs left to make the planks. But anyway, I got the uh, zombie villager on top of there. The witch is stuck in there. Look what she did straight away. <laughs> I swear she's got like the best shot ever, that witch. Um, but anyway... I wanted to get the zombie villager right on top of her head, basically. I wanted them to kind of fight, and I thought that's maybe how it will work. Again, I've never done this before, so I was kind of making this up as I go. Playing this very, very uh, dangerous here. I don't have any more honey as well, by the way. I've kind of used it all up. And I made myself a shield, by the way, as well. You might have spotted there. Kind of pointless in the way. Um, I don't know why it doesn't render in. I think it might be something to do with the day counter. I'm not too sure. But you will see me with it a little bit. But I thought maybe I could deflict, um, you know, potions. But it doesn't work like that. But anyway, this this zombie and this witch, we're having it out. So I thought maybe they'll throw a weakness potion at me now. He, he just killed her. Cheers, bro. So I, I, and, then I, and then I realized about the whole free block distance thing. Because I, I just decided to kill this guy in the end out of anger. <laughs> like, no, I worked so hard to get these guys together. And he just he just killed her. And I spent so much time on this, guys. And anyway, I got another witch stuck in here. This time, as you probably can tell behind me, I've removed everything. And I got myself a zombie villager over this side. Because I can lure him across quite easily by just, you know, flicking the fishing rod at them or something. I decide to put these together like this. So I made sure that this is a free block distance. Again, I've never done this before. I can use the fishing rod to get these guys around without damaging, but I've got to be careful because as I mentioned before, they can fall from heights, these zombies, and they survive. And I don't know how much health he's got, but when that witch throws um, instant damage potions, it will actually heal the zombie because any hurting potions heal them, I believe. Um, so yeah. I'm definitely three blocks distance, right? So the witch needs to throw the potion at me, the player. And because it's a splash potion, it should, in theory, hit the zombie villager. So one, two, three blocks. So I need to stand pretty much in front of this zombie villager. But I don't know if he can hit me. That's the question. Um, <laughs> again, <laughs> this is all new to me. It, it's very fun. Very, very fun. I love it. It's, it's very different. Um, highly recommend this challenge. But yeah, then I realized, oh, he can't hit me. Okay, the trap door saves my day once again. I decided to block that off just in case the potion fall through it, if you know what I mean. But anyway, test number one. Let's do this. I swear, guys, this is test number one. I couldn't have done another test anyway. Um, I just, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm just spamming this guy. It's nothing. Oh, oh my God. It worked. <laughs> they do throw weakness potions. And you're probably noticing as well. Why am I using a shovel? I'm using a shovel right now. But again, because I don't have any logs. So I can't make um, swords. So I was just using a shovel. Because it does free attack damage. It's not too bad. Um, this was very dangerous. I don't want her to kill that zombie. Ah, Guys, it's going to happen. We got a villager. He's curing. I can't even believe I did this, guys. I really can't believe it. And that was first go. So if you're going to do this, kind of do that system. I mean, I bodged it, but it worked. <laughs> I think it's just me spamming the, the golden apple probably did it. I don't know why I was spamming it. I, it almost looked like I was trying to eat it. But yeah, we got a villager, guys. I'm so happy. So I got him in a boat. Again, I don't know if he's got full health. So I don't want to punch this guy at all. I don't know if they transform. Do they obtain full health? I, I genuinely don't know. I need to make some splash potion maybe of healing to make sure he's healed. But anyway, I've trapped him in this random box underneath my chickens just because I was so excited and I wanted to get this guy. I just want emeralds. I just want to get lava. I just want to make progress. I'm sick of birch. <laughs> anyway, this isn't the trade I want. So I need to keep breaking the barrel until I get string. Now, I'm pretty certain it is a trade. 
and I think this could be the magical one it is. Now, because he's been cured, he's also got a discount, which is beautiful. And uh, yeah, he's actually got emeralds, which is nice. And look who spawned in. A wandering trader. It's like magic, right? I don't know. I think he was there for like two days. He's probably ran away, as you can tell. But look what he's selling. As I mentioned before, you can get more dirt by buying pon uh, Podsall and buying Moss, basically, once you got the Villager. So... Right now, guys, I'm genuinely so over the moon. Like, I had the biggest smile on my face, and this is so, so cool. Like, how have I even done this? All from a bonus chest? <laughs> yes, there's a slight modification with the witch, but that one wasn't really necessary. And obviously, the grass and dirt block, yeah. Okay, without that, it probably would not be possible at all. But anyway, using the podzel and the moss, because you can grow these azalea bushes that you get from bone mealing moss, right? You can grow them on top of it and it changes it to rooted dirt and what happens with rooted dirt when you use a shovel on it <laughs> you can make path blocks and then you can make dirt oh my god this is so cool but not only that i got a new type of wood oak now azalea trees are good and i know the leaves are nice and stuff but they don't really produce a lot of logs unfortunately but this guy spawned in look what he had I could not believe this. And he also had kelp and sand, which is really cool. Kelp is very good because I can farm that, right? Anyway, I ran out of string because obviously stupid Dan made wool, right? For the stupid witches and stuff. I used up a lot of string in that process. Um, so yeah, I had to unfortunately go fishing to get enough fish to buy an emerald off him to get the lava bucket. And I was trying to do this as fast as I can. And you might notice there, I've got a couple of sheep as well. Obviously, my grass platform is extended. That means I can get mobs quite easily now. Yes, we got seven. And here we go. The lava bucket. Yes. Guys, this is so cool. And also, I told, I didn't tell you as well. You can only buy one of them at a time. And I realized here at this point, I didn't even have any armor on. So let's quickly sort that out. We can pick and choose anything I've got here. There we go. Lovely. Ah. So yeah, I was thinking like maybe I could get some sand or the kelp or something. Looking at his trades and I just leveled him up. And that means I've unlocked a new trade with a fishing rod. But that fishing rod's only got I'm breaking two on it. It's not very useful. Um, also, I unlocked a trade there for raw salmon. And I've actually caught nine of them, which is really good. Wow, I actually caught eight, tell a lie. And I ate one. Did I eat one from the start? I don't even honestly know. Um, <laughs> I was too excited at this time, you know. Um... Yes, what do I do? Do I save up and buy cow or do I get sand? I think I'm going to go for the sand. Because if he sells cactus, I can actually farm that. And cactus is probably more valuable in my opinion. Anyway, time goes on. I've grown a lot of trees. I've made the crafting table situation here. Now you're probably thinking, what the... What is going on here? Crafting tables are a, a non-flammable block. Basically, they won't... They will burn, but they won't disappear, if you know what I mean. So, as you can see, they do burn, but the block won't disappear. You know, what, you know what I mean? Even though it's made out of wood, it doesn't make any sense. But I always do this. It's quite pricey, but it's a great way to make your cobblestone generator look really cool, right? Ah, beautiful. I can't believe it. I got cobblestone, guys. So, 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 so cool. So, now I got cobblestone. This has changed a lot. I can use stone bricks. I can, I can make stone tools. I can make little houses. Yes, I'm actually making a storage little cabin thingy to store all my chests in because I'm sick and tired of seeing them in the open. There's too many of them as well. We got we got to make this bit more pretty. I want to I want to do some more building on there, I think. You know, I want to improve my building skills as a Minecraft player. You know, I'm not I'm more of a survival player. I don't really build. So it's quite nice to kind of experiment. Obviously right now I've only got access to two types of wood and and stone but that's enough you know but anyway eventually as you can see by the days 93 right now we got a lot of stuff guys and i had to sort all this out it was oof, very very lengthy process but it was totally worth it it's more ocd i've made myself a grindstone i'm gathering up 24 pieces of cobblestone right now to make what three furnaces <laughs> now i've actually got myself a furnace already and this is it the big smelt as i'm gonna call it we're using this bows and armors and we're smelting it all down now 
how many ingots am I going to get from all of this, guys? And watch my level. I'm on 76 right now. We'll see how much XP and how much stuff I get from this. So, I started off, by the way, with the iron, as in chainmail. Um, that was the plan at the start. Because there was less of it, I just um, grindstoned all of the enchantments off of this. I kept any armor that was decent, and I threw all that stuff off the edge, and I cooked all the gold. Honestly, two days I think that took me. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe one. We got 16 gold ingots from that, guys. <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers. But yes, to get another villager, I need an apple. And to get an apple, I need to get an oak sapling, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we need we need an oak sapling, please, Mr. Wandering Trader. We really do, desperately. You might be noticing as well, I've got some cooked chicken on me. I accidentally... No, I didn't. <laughs> I purposely killed a load of chickens. And I've used their eggs in the process. Just to, obviously, you know get food a decent food anyway i wanted to make a house just before i did um end on day 100 and there we go we have done it guys we've done it we got to day 100 i cannot even believe this we are sacred to the brown cocoa bean and we're gonna do a bit of a house tour i'm not a builder as you probably know but this is all i've got right now so this is like the attic we got our rare music disc that we got. A nice purple one, the DRP logo. <laughs> it's not. And I got my furnaces up here and a couple of chests and stuff. Just as decoration, really. And down here is the main ensuite, the saloon. This is my rare loot. Very rare, Dan. And we got a lovely brown bed. But anyway, guys, I'm Dan Rose Probs. I hope that you liked my little one to 100 days on my Void World Survival Challenge. That is my house. It looks very bizarre. It looks like a bank, but I love it. It's stupid. It's great as much as I love playing this. So I really hope that you guys really enjoyed me or the experience of that. But anyway, I really want to do another 100 days. I really want to. I want to defeat the Ender Dragon. I think this is an absolutely crazy idea. If you really want to try it for yourself as well, it is in the description of the video. Um... I just can't believe I've done all of this. I'm shocked. And one of the sheep disappeared, by the way. But anyway, I'm Dan Ross Probs. Thank you very, very much for watching, as always. And I shall see you in the next one. Now I need some food. <laughs>